What's going on guys, Jacob Bardotti here, back from the vlog, and let's get you guys up to speed because there's been a few updates on my car. So first update is that I no longer have the Verde wheels, which by the way guys, those were 20 by nine plus 32, and 20 by 10 and a half plus 45. You guys were asking me all about those specs, well I never really knew until I looked at the back of them. I looked at the back whenever I sold them to a buddy of mine, actually Anthony, the one that has that blue supercharged S550, he's gonna be the new owner of those wheels. It's track pack wheels, which right now I'm aired up all the way, so that's pretty much how it looks if you were to be OEM on these wheels with the yellow calipers. But you already know that I had to get new wheels because I'm not gonna stay on these track packs. These are awesome looking, but I want something a little bit more aggressive. So let's go ahead and open them up because they just got delivered. So let's go ahead, grab them, pull them inside and unbox them and see what they look like. So I just pulled them in and I'll be honest with you guys, I've never owned a brand new set of wheels. I've always gotten mine like secondhand. So this is pretty exciting for me because I'm gonna be the first one to unbox these. And I believe I'm one of the first ones to ever run these wheels. Sorry, there's a bit of an echo inside my house. I'm like in the hall stairway thing. But oh, without further ado, let me go ahead and unbox these EXO Luxury wheels, the Auckland in dark gray metallic with brushed texture. And right here I have some new tires. These are the Luxani 295 3520s. These are gonna be my rears. I have left over 265 3520s in my shed outside. So those are gonna go on the front, these will go on the rear. So right here, this is a rear, and right here, this is a front. You can kind of see the width difference right here. So let's go ahead and unbox a front, and we'll leave the deep one for last. So let's go ahead and unbox one of these. All right, so I'm pretty excited. Let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. It looks like, like I said, I've never had brand new wheels before. We have cats going crazy with us here. Let's see what they look like. I think this is finished, I saw it online. I think it's gonna be pretty good. I had my eye on it for a while, and this company made them. And yeah, let's go ahead and see what they look like. And bagged up. Jesus. What's holding me back here? Oh, we got taped onto something here. We got a hub centric ring right here. This little box was taped on the bottom. 20 by nine plus 20 is what I should have. Here's a little sneak peek of the finish. Yeah, these should be 20 by nine plus 20. Let's see if I can find it on the back. Right here on the lip, it says 20 by nine plus 20, five by 114. You kind of see that brush finish. Let's go ahead and pull this off and wow. All right, yeah, that looks pretty freaking sick. Just based off of this backspacing right here and looking at the profile, I think we'll be clearing the Brembo's like no problem, but obviously we'll have to do a little bit of a test fit uh, just to see, but yeah, this is looking pretty good. I don't think it's gonna have an issue clearing the Brembo's. Let's go ahead and unbox one of the rears and see what the concave looks like. All right, so right here is the wheel. See the finish, and boom. Oh yeah, that's pretty freaking concave. Hopefully you guys can kind of see that. That's looking pretty sick. This should be right here on the edge, yep. 20 by 11 plus 50, five by 114. Here's the texture. We'll probably have to go outside to see it really, but yeah, there's that brushed. Looks like a stainless steel fridge or something. And yeah, pretty wide. Here's a rear, there's a front, there's a rear, here's the front. So yeah, all of the center caps are the same, but yeah, I only received that one hub centric. So I have to contact them and see what that's about. Got the tires right here. Um, yeah, everything looks good though. The box does say you need to test fit before you mount the tires, so we'll probably end up doing that really quick. So I kind of didn't record right there, but I just put out the Mustang, put it up on the wood block so I could get the jack under it. I'm gonna go ahead and test fit one of the fronts and one of the rears. The specs say they're the same on the outside of the rim, on the inside actually of the rim, but on the outside little edge. We're gonna go ahead and just test two on one side and see how they look. They are out in the sun. You can definitely see that texture a whole lot better right there and the concave right there, so. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked on them. Like I said, I have the Mustang out on the jacks or on the blocks for the jack. Gonna go ahead, lift it up, take off the wheels and go ahead and test fit. Right here's what it's looking like with the new wheels on. And as you can see, the fitment is pretty dang aggressive. Uh, I'm also aired up all the way. I'm thinking the more that I air out, the more it'll tuck in here. Uh, I think I'll be fine. Something I do wanna show is that I do need the bore uh, adapters or whatever, just because look at that little gap under there. That's supposed to be right up to that black part. As you can see, it kind of moves around on there and I have a lug nut on. Overall, the finish is looking really good on here, especially on the black. I can't wait to see it with wheels on. 
And I do think that uh, we'll be pretty aggressive, but I think we'll be able to make this work, especially because I'm on bags. So here it is with the little adapter, gonna slide that on. And we'll slide on the wheel and see how it fits after that. So I was supposed to get four, but I only received one. So they're gonna ship me out those. No big deal, because my TPMS is still a couple of days out anyways. And then I'm getting them mounted on Saturday, which is like three days from now. So really I have a little bit of time, but obviously anybody that wants to get their wheels on, wants to get them on as soon as possible. But we'll just have to be a little bit patient. Oh yeah, that's a whole lot better. That's more how it's supposed to be. Perfectly lined up. Yeah, that's definitely the way it's supposed to be. All right, so I got curious and I put it on jack stands and stuff obviously to keep it safe, but I aired out this corner because you can just do individual corners with the remote. And I just want to see how much this tucks because right now it's pretty positive cambered and it pokes out pretty good, but I just want to see what it looks like more in a normal setting. So I do have a lug nut on there. I also have the hub centric ring. So we'll go ahead and see how it looks. That's pretty much maxed out. Oh yeah. We'll be uh, pretty aggressive right here in the front. So that's 20 by nine plus 20. So yeah, pretty aggressive on an S197 front end. I'm gonna be running a 265 tire, so we'll have to see how that looks and if I can really tuck that. But uh, we might have to add a little bit of camber up front. Here's what the rears look like. And yeah, they're pretty aggressive. These are 20 by 11 plus 50. I feel like both sides are just really aggressive right now because of the way that the axle is. I mean, this side is supporting all the weight. I mean, look at all that camber and that's tucking super hard with camber in the rear on a solid axle. So it's definitely not supposed to look like that. So it should be flush. And I looked up some uh, other cars that have this similar specs and it's pretty much flush to the fender. And then obviously it just depends on how your tire fits and how it tucks under there. But I think we'll be just fine. Uh, you can tell with my voice right there that I'm super confident in that, but we'll just have to wait and see. But I do think that we'll be okay. So right there is the front and back. And I really, really love how concave the back is. I mean, so Scott over at TSW is actually sending me out the other three hub adapters. It definitely is necessary for these wheels to fit on this car. And we'll also have to wait until Saturday to get them on anyway. So hopefully it comes in before then and everything works as planned. And then we can throw these wheels on and do our first air out and see how they really fit with tires. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think about the wheels down below. Let me know if you think they're gonna fit, but I guess we'll find out because either way I'm throwing these on the car. Go ahead and give this video a comment, like, and then subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys next time. Actually, real quick before this video ends, I do want to do a quick shout out to Car Gazette and show you guys what this month's box is looking like. By the way, I cleaned up my mess right here, so that looks a whole lot better. So you go ahead and get your Car Gazette and then flip this up. And the first thing you'll see is this. You'll see some All Clean Plus from Chemical Guys. This is basically an all-purpose cleaner, citrus base, probably smells really good. I'll definitely need to give this a shot. This is pretty dope. It's an RPF1 air freshener. I really like the style of wheel. I can guarantee it probably smells like black ice. I love these. So we also have a few stickers here. Looks like we have a Nova. Pretty dope. My grandma actually had a Nova back in the day, so she was a hot rodder. We've also got the piston with what looks like the Japanese like maple. I think that's what this is, or cherry blossom. I think it's actually a cherry blossom, so corrected. Pretty dope. I think they got a new card design. This is like kind of reflective gold, pretty sick. There's all their social media right there. Car Gazette, pretty simple. We got some good wire cutters. Always good to have these for things like zip ties and whatever electronics you're doing. Really do think it's dope that Car Gazette always comes with the tool. Like every month you can pretty much expect the tool in there. We have the classic gray microfibers. These things are awesome. Short nap side and then a long nap side. <laughs> I have these things freaking everywhere. And then for this month we also have the JDM Euro and US all together in the poster. Pretty sweet, E36 right there, 240, and then the Nova. I'd probably go with the E36 on this one. Last but not least, definitely not least, are the t-shirts. So right here is the shirt with the piston and cherry blossom, kind of like the sticker. I can guarantee that this is probably on the back. I really do love this design. And there it is, bigger on the back. Pretty sweet, I'll definitely be wearing this one in videos, you'll see that. And right here we have the 69 Chevy Nova t-shirt. Pretty dope. This is in like the heather gray, which we haven't had yet. It's always been black or white, so this is pretty new. I'll have to see how this is, but I usually like heather gray. So now I'm really gonna wrap it up again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about the wheels down below in the comment section. I'll definitely be responding to them. Did you guys think they'll fit? 
I haven't even fitted them on yet, so we'll have to see in the next couple of days, but I think we might be able to skate by. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh.